work of the twisties now, but the traffic's getting heavier as we head to St. John's, so there's a lot of a lot of cars behind me pressuring me to go faster, of course. And not too many opportunities to just let them go. But I'll let them go when I can. Willis Bay. Maybe there's a place I could put my feet in the water. We could just try it, just so I can. I haven't put my feet in the waters of the Atlantic. And they'll never let me live that down if I don't. the whole reason I bought these cheap flip-flops and I know it might look silly excuse the toenails I haven't cut them for a little bit I didn't bring any on the trip but we'll deal with that when we get home let's put that there I'll head down yeah this is just one of the things I wanted to do and I probably regret it if I don't and that's to put my feet in the waters of the farthest eastern point of Canada into the Atlantic Ocean. Now I can say, been there and dunked my feet. So I had to buy these flip-flops just so I could do that. I can always chuck them after. Even the flip-flops makes it hard. <laughs> there we go, the Atlantic Ocean. Pulling up my pant legs. And there you go. Ooh, that's cold. <laughs> pretty, pretty chilly. I brought a swimsuit in case I wanted to go swimming at some point, but even as warm as it is today, I don't think that's going to happen in this water. My wife told me when she was a little girl, they came out this way and she went swimming. And she was blue when she came out. I'm certainly not making a lot of progress, am I? But that's okay. <laughs> Plenty of day left. And I'm getting lots done tourist-wise. <sighs> Oops, need my key. What the heck to do with that? But it's all right, it's all good. All I gotta do is hit the motel anyway. Still gotta see St. John yet. <sighs> see what's going on around there. And then we settle in for our motel and then we start heading back west. So, yeah, better see what I can while I can.
one thing that's been very easy for viewers to comment on and Facebook people and stuff is uh, when I'm showing these trips it's oh you gotta go here and you gotta go see that you gotta take a detour on that and go see that and and uh, they gotta realize that I've got a certain amount of ground to cover and there's just no way that I have time to go and see everything like I, I thought that too at first when I was first planning this trip oh yeah I'm gonna check out everything and stop at everything on the way and but there's just no time I, I mean not when you're doing well normally three four hundred kilometers a day to get out here and that's being pretty passive I would say you know uh, but uh, now that I'm out here I've, of course I've slowed it down and this is like probably the shortest day. Ooh, Tim Horton. I could use a Tim Horton. Oh, but it's so freaking crowded. Oh, maybe not so bad. Let's go check it out. Let's check it out. Here I am talking about how I can't stop. But you know, I haven't had an ice cap in quite a few days, or quite a while. All right, just wander in front of me, as everybody does. All right. That'd be a perfect spot to just sit and have a quick ice cap. That would pick me up nice. I just keep seeing stuff I want to stop for. What can you do? That driveway must be just a joy in the winter. Same with this one. Just come on, visit me in the winter. No. <laughs> There's actually a really impressive view to the right. There are a lot of trees in the way, but nice big bay. I don't think I'm near St. John's yet. So whatever this place is, we don't know, but it was it was a pretty nice view coming down the hill there. But I think I missed it. Sorry. Camera didn't activate in time. We're doing what we can. Ugh, I hate these ruddy roads. I don't really think I need groceries per se I've seen a lot of opportunities to get some but I think as I'm in St. John's and in the, near the city I don't think that's going to be a problem if I do need something well we found it it's a lot of rough highway travel to get here St. John's is like friggin driving in Toronto so I found a reasonably level spot to park for now and I'll get checked in and then we'll go from there I don't know if I want to go out exploring or not it's too much city around here for me I don't think it's worth battling all the highways and and traffic and shit I've seen the sights of the East Coast so I'm sure there's some touristy stuff around st. John's but maybe I'll save that for the family vacation all right so I've landed and much earlier today it's only 2 30 but that's okay it's hot out i had a good day out there i explored lots and uh, i don't mind settling in a little bit early to st john's this is my room and i think wow i really lucked out this time this is the crossroads inn and suites and uh wow compared to some of the places i've stayed this is just fantastic i've got um i've got nice front door access for the bike ground floor around the side of the building so it's not like right out in front looks like a pretty nice comfy bed everything is like done to the nines nice table check it out i get a coffee maker i just gotta find some milk somewhere and i get uh look at this a kitchenette wow i could actually like prepare some stuff but i never did get any milk today now i should have Look at that, they have a microwave. This is the first place in nine or, I think that this is the ninth or 10th hotel that actually gave me a microwave, full size fridge. Like that's incredible. Look, a kettle. I have never ever been given a kettle in a motel room yet. Like that is like a luxury. And beautiful table, I can sort my stuff out. And then I've got this hall here and nice bathroom. This is beautiful. You know, I bet you this toilet works and doesn't have brown water. 
Look at the shower. Crossroads Inn and Suites. So far, I'm uh, pretty happy. And the price was not that bad either. Where, you know, some of these other little places were charging close to $200. This was only $145 for all this. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with this. This is great. <laughs>